This is a crazy day with AMC because we're down by 12% now on the one day. It really is remarkable how much this one has been brought down. I want to talk about what's going on today and in the wider few days and in the wider past year really now when looking at AMC. I'm giving you a rundown of the latest scenario based on my opinion, based on the research that both I and other members of the community have done and all that sort of good stuff. So for those of you who have been here before, you know what to expect. Please leave a like on the video and for those of you who are new do subscribe if you can but as always remember this is based on only opinion and it should not be taken as financial advice at all it is just theory well we're going to dive in now by looking at the price section first and then we'll get on to the dd that we have found now what i want to highlight mainly is the price action that we are seeing both in the past day in the past uh three weeks three months sorry and the past six months because coming out to the past th six months now you've seen that drop continuously with amc coming back into the three month the same thing is apparent and into the past month it's just becoming steeper and steeper five days red and if you even have a look at the past five days there is barely any noticeable green here at all we had a small tiny run here tiny run here as well arguably one at this time period but really it's been just a straight slope downwards not any bullish momentum at all and for a stock that is held by retail to the tune of about 80 or 90 percent something doesn't seem right because we already know if people are buying the stock and holding the stock and not many people are selling would it not be the case that the price action remains quite stable if not rises well here we're seeing dramatic drops and today is an even steeper one than what we are really used to because you know seeing 11 percent shaved off the share price in one day it really is questionable and how this is allowed to go on blatantly you know it really does get a lot of people thinking about what's going on and the intentions of the regulatory bodies which are supposed to be out there protecting retail investors like us now the other day somebody asked me what i thought to the price section of amc and why is the price continuously going down because we already know from a retail perspective the MOAS is highly likely, and if that is the case, why would they even bother to short and short and short and short, continuously bringing the price down? Now, this is my personal opinion and nothing more, but I think there is a logical reason why shorts are doing this. Now, one thing that we already know, we've learned this in the past year, but really is something that shorts are still going to try and use against us, is our emotion. We already know that, really, when it comes to trading, the majority of what goes on is emotion-based. It's based on what we feel and think, i.e., if we panic right now, we may be wanting to sell, whereas if we are highly confident, we may be wanting to buy it. And by dropping the price section over the past six months, over the past three months as well, what we are basically seeing is we're seeing a continuous drop and what the shorts are going to do is say, okay, while the price is dropping over the long term, you will see this company is not worth holding and it's dropping because of where it is on a fundamental basis. Now, we are already smarter than that, but I do think for a, for a very tiny fraction of people, that method may kind of scare them. But regardless, shorts have let it run on about one or two occasions, one of which a notable one is this day here, where we had a very good result from the movies, I believe it was. I think we had some very positive figures being released, and the shorts wanted to think, okay, we can let it run on this day to make it look like the company can do well when the fundamentals do, but long term, it is a failing company. Well, if it's a failing company now, what has it been in the past year? Because really looking out to the past year, i.e. the past 365 days, it's come up from a price of $2 to a price of $72, and the fundamentals at this time were quite appalling. Now, over time, especially in this period here, i.e. the last three or four weeks to the past one to two months, really, the fundamentals have improved drastically. We see movies bring in insane amounts of revenue. It's highly unlikely that a lockdown is going to happen in the US. AMC is working to improve its business model and all that sort of stuff. So that fundamental argument is flawed and it doesn't work anymore, in my opinion. I think people are starting to wake up to that. But what really is shocking is what is going on with the price section and how it is allowed to happen. So as I said earlier on, it looks to be the case that this one is majority retail owned. Now, as far as fake shares come, we will get onto that in just a second. But as far as legitimate shares go as well, we do assume that about 80 to 90% of this is held by retail and if that is the case 
and these people are just buying, 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 the price should remain stable if not start to rise, as I mentioned. So, the fact this is allowed to drop continuously really is questionable, but on top of that, the volume figures are also really shady in my opinion. Now, we already know in the, pre in the previous year, as in 2021, AMC traded significantly more times than its current float, which just doesn't make too much sense because if most people are holding on to their shares, buying more, they're not really selling them, so why is the float turning over at such an alarming rate? I think that is also there to give it the illusion that people are not sticking to the movement, people are moving away from it, whereas in reality, we know these figures can be manipulated, and they probably are being. So I don't think that one works, but I do think it is something that they are trying to do with volume. Keep it relatively high to make it look like the turnover is happening, people are buying, more people are selling, some people are pick picking up those shares and we're dropping on a natural basis. But really now, we're becoming smarter than that and we understand what is going on behind the scenes. And that brings me on to some very good DD which was done by Twitter user James J. It's at USJames0826. Now we're going to come down here a little bit and post and have a look at this post which was published 19 hours ago. Now this has been very popular on Twitter in that time period. It's talking about the short data for 2021 and the sources that this individual used were listed I do believe so you can have a look on their page but basically yeah we can have a look at the figures that we are seeing. So we're going to have a look at these and we're going to start off at the top. What we're seeing over here is 2021 short data is updated. 11.288 billion shares are shorted and 4.795 billion shares are not reported. And this is of course implying that we are seeing more than the float actually being shorted. And I think what, if that is true, if it does become the case and if it is the case, it proves the message that we have been looking at for a long time. Some real dodgy tactics are going on here in in the blatant obvious, really, because we already know that people are buying more. And if that is the case, why is this allowed to happen in front of our eyes? And another thing on Twitter that I want to point out is what we're seeing down here. Now, of course, we do have some separate unrelated topics, but what we are seeing is these two about AMC stock and how it is trending again. Now, it's continuously trending time after time after time when we have a look at that on Twitter in multiple countries in different categories. So it shows that people are still sticking with the movement. Go over to the message boards, you'll see the same thing. Go over to Reddit. People have been here for a long time and they are continuing to post great DD. So what I'm trying to say in this one is with the price section of AMC today, I think it proves what we have known for a while. It shows that they are not really bothered about doing this in the blatant eye because anybody who has been here for more than a few months can see how this one is working more people are buying less people are selling but the price action is still going down and today with it dropping by about 11 percent 12 percent in my eyes that is just blatant robbery now as i said this is only my opinion and nothing more but i hope you did enjoy so if you did please smash the like button and subscribe Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon